one big thing. Remember the dot-com bubble with the stock market when companies were just ideas? They didn't have to actually be anything to get funding and get taken public, creating the next frenzied IPO. I imagine the meetings where people would ask, so what does your company do? Well, we're on the cutting edge of emerging technology at the forefront of connectivity and commerce that can take our clients into the new millennium. What do you do? Well, right now it's kind of just a box with some lights on it, but we're, uh, we're, we're working on some stuff. The longer you could remain an idea without having to prove what you actually were, the better. The idea sells. The idea is intoxicating. The reality might be something, it might not. You just had to kind of trust the process. The Philadelphia 76ers, as we all know, are like that. Still an idea. One, I should point out, might be one of those IPOs that goes to the moon and back. There's no reason that it can't all work out. But to date, here's what we know for sure. Joel Embiid is really good when he plays. So far, he's played 31 games since being drafted in 2014. He's bright, he's funny on social media, an easy guy to like, even if you didn't like him dancing at the Meek Mill show with the injured knee. He also just got a $148 million extension. Here's the thing. Philly had to do it. Because if they didn't before the season, he'd have become a restricted free agent. And Philly's seen enough in those minutes restricted, 31 games, to know what Embiid is if he's healthy. A key cog in the process. Ben Simmons figures to be as well. He didn't play at all after being drafted because of his own foot injury. And now we wait to see not just what he looks like in the NBA, but what Markel Fultz looks like in his rookie campaign as well. When Zach Lowe, who understands these things far better than I do, tweets, Embiid's extension has been described to me as perhaps the most complex in NBA history, it strikes me as the perfect metaphor for the entirety of the process. Something that might work out and be the proverbial slam dunk, but something that has so many moving pieces still that it still feels more like an idea than a reality. And for all the fans in Philadelphia have endured, I sincerely hope it works. If it were an IPO, I would buy some shares. I'd just love to know when I'd know whether it was a blue chip or a spec stock. And who can possibly give you that answer right now?